Welcome to Lesson 5.2.2, and we are going to be doing a couple of problems today in class because it's going to be flipped, and I may or may not have my computer because I have to take it in and get it checked up. So we are going to be doing problem 5-3, two together. So I'm going to read it right out of the book. It says, Latanya and George are saving up money because they both want to buy a new bike or new bicycles. Latanya opened the savings account with $50. She just got a job and is determined to save an additional $30 a week. George started a savings account with $75. He is able to save $25 a week. So this is what you need to do, is you're going to need to come up with at least two different ways to find the time in weeks when Latanya and George will have the same amount of money in their savings accounts. Be prepared to share your method with the class. So, first of all, let's take a look at the information. So, taking apart that paragraph, we know Latanya, she has $50 to start out with. And she can save $30 a week. Now, George actually had more money to start out with. He had $75, so $25 more than Latanya. But he's only saving $25 a week. What you have to do is come up with two different mathematical ways to figure out when they will have the same amount of money. So go ahead and pause the video and come up with two different ways. When you've come up with the two different ways, unpause the video and play the rest of the video. Okay, go ahead and pause right now. All right, so did you really pause it? Did you really do the work? So as I'm walking around class, I'm going to be checking to make sure that you have finished before you're watching this part of the video. I'm going to ask to see your work. So there's two different methods. One of the methods you could have tried is you could have done a data table. So for example, if I take a pen here, we could have had a data table and we could have had Latanya. I'm just going to put here, and then we could have had here, I'm just going to put a G for George. Now, zero a week, how much did LaTanya start with? She started with $50 a week. What did George start out with? George started out with $75. Okay, so after week one, LaTanya is saving how much? She is saving $30 a week. So how much is she going to have after week one? Well, if this from here to here is plus 30, that means this would be 80. How about after week two? So go ahead and finish this out. Week two, week three, week four, week five, week six. So how about over here? So week one. And George is only saving, what, $25 a week? So after week one, it's going to be what? So again, $25 a week. So this will be 100 Again, now that you've finished Latanya's, you can go out and you can see how far it goes out. So let's go ahead. So what's 80 plus 30? Is that 110? What's 110 plus 30? Well, that's 140. What's 140 plus 30? It's 170. What's 170 plus 30? That's 200. And what's 200 plus 30? It's 230. Now it might be higher, it might be further out, but we're just going to stop here and see if we have any matches. So what are they going to be the same? So this would be what? 125, 150, 175. Oh, I know what it's going to be now right here. So I figured it out after five weeks, it'll be the same. Now you're supposed to come up with two methods. How about if we graphed it? So we can say, okay, here's week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, six, seven. And we could have said, you know, this is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we're going by fives, 40, what is that? 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We're not gonna have enough room. We've got to get all the way up to 200. Now, if you would have done this first, you might not have known how far you needed to go up. So let me grab a different pen. 
go a different color too. So what happens if we go by 10? So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60. This will be close too. And we already kind of know this would be 180 and this would be 200. So because we already did the data table, we already know what the answer is going to be. But you could do this. Now, George starts at 75, so he's going to be starting right here. And then you would just put your dots on here, and then you would draw your line how far up would it go each week. Then you have Latani starting out at 50, way down here. But she saves up more. So eventually, at week 5, wherever that is, it would actually be up here. This is where they would crisscross. So again, we didn't do this accurately. So I don't want you to look at this and say, Mr. Rattoon, you did it wrong. This is just to help you get through the lessons. So the lines would look more, well, I can tell you right now, it's going to be at week five because we did the data table. So I would have to start here, and I'd have to draw a line like this. And then here it would start at 50, and it would slowly say more, and it would crisscross right up here at week five. So you'll be able to do much better because you'll have paper and pencil. So did you figure it out a different way? Did you figure out a rule? Did you just try and plug and plug and play? So the best ways to do it is with a graph or with a data table to figure out where they cross. Let's go ahead, pause the video, finish things up, and then you can move on to the next problem.